9.3 says determine the equation of the tangent. <coughs> determine the equation of the tangent to that graph G at the point P, which has coordinates minus 3, 11. And write it in the form Y equals. Now, when we deal with the straight line, Based on the formula sheet that you would get in your metric exam, often you say that the equation of a line is y equals ax plus q, but the formula sheet says y equals mx plus c, so we will stick to that notation <coughs> for this lesson. The gradient, very important, is equal to the derivative, which in this case is equal to d g dash. But you are asked to go and work out that line, the tangent, of which the gradient needs to be found at x equal to negative 3. So let's just see what needs to be done. If we now take the derivative at negative 3, it means we're going to plug into the previous equation that we just worked with in 9.2 minus 6 times the x value being squared, minus 6 times the x value plus 12, and we have just mentioned that that x value is negative 3. Doing a bit of arithmetic, that gives me negative 54 plus 18 plus 12. That gives me negative 24. Remember the straight line, right, of which I'm finding the equation, because I'm asked to find the equation of the tangent, is y equals mx, so the m is minus 24x plus c. To go and work out c's value, we can substitute any point. And a point p that you have just been referred to has been given, so we can substitute the x, and we can substitute the y. That tells me that 11 is equal to negative 24, times minus 3 plus the c value. I'm going to get 72 plus c. Therefore, c's value is going to be negative 61. And there's the equation of the tangent. Let me just explain what is actually happening. You have now found a line which is drawn sloping down against the graph of gx, which is touching only at point P on that left-hand side. And hence, it is a tangent because it's meeting that curve only once. And that's the equation for 9.3.